Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and with this channel we bring you a variety of tech related content. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video I'm going to do a follow up to a video I did recently called How to Adopt a USG into an Existing Network. All right, guys, so a couple of things before I get into the follow up video. As you know, back in the middle of January, I took a little leave of absence. I'm back, but on a part time basis now, I won't be producing two videos a week just yet, but I'm going to try to do my best to get one a week out to you guys. I'm still dealing through some personal issues that have to be resolved, and I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling between now and uh, July so it's going to be kind of hard to be here in the studio to get these videos out to you. But that being said, even during the break, the channel continued to grow. This morning we hit 1000 subscriber mark and I can't thank you guys enough for your support. I can't believe we're at 1000 and I guess the next um, plateau would be to hit 1500. So we'll see what happens. Okay, now on to the video follow up. All right, guys, so I previously did a video called How to Adopt a USG into an Existing Network, which basically showed how to replace an edge router at the head end with the USG. Now, keeping in mind that the edge router was at the head end, it was doing all of the DHCP services and all of the VLANing. So in that particular network, when I was in the um, Unify controller for the VLAN guest Wi-Fi, all I had to do was create a VLAN-only network. But with the USG at the head end now, I had to delete that VLAN and create another network for the guest Wi-Fi. And that's where I made a mistake or an oversight. And I had a viewer point that out to me. So thank you. That was a good catch. And that's what this follow-up is all about. So in this video, I'm going to go to a clip now and show you the process from the other video. And I'll point out where the mistake was. So as you can see in this clip, I'm deleting the VLAN only network and I'm going to create a new network for the guest Wi-Fi. I gave it the name guest network or guest Wi-Fi and I filled out all the parameters but what I failed to do was change it from a corporate network to a guest network. Now on the wireless side of things I had already attached the Wi-Fi, the guest Wi-Fi to VLAN 20 and I had applied guest policies so on the wireless side of things there was isolation and all of that separation going on on the wireless side. What this viewer pointed out to me was that on the network side, I left it as corporate and that would allow my guests, if they were hardwired, to access my main LAN. So again, I thank you for that catch. And again, that's the purpose of doing this follow-up video. I do want to say, in making these videos, it does take a lot of time from start to finish right so like a four three to four minute video could take a couple of hours it could take three to four hours by the time you lay it all out think about what you're going to do do the actual recordings upload to youtube do all the descriptions the thumbnails everything that goes into getting the video out to you guys there's a lot of steps involved now i don't follow a script i do everything spontaneously Yes, I know what my topic's going to be, and I think through it ahead of time, but I'm not actually reading a word-for-word -word script. So, again, I do apologize for that error. It was just an oversight that I probably should have caught in post-production, but I just simply didn't. So, again, I'm glad you guys are paying attention and, um, you know, letting me know when I do make a mistake. It's just, you know, good for all of us around. So, again, thank you. So that about wraps it up for today, guys. A quick follow-up correction to that previous video. Remember to check out some of my other videos. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And also, use those Amazon affiliate links. It doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. And again, I thank all of you guys for helping me reach 1,000 subscribers. Let's keep the channel growing. See you next time.